So welcome to my tutorial on how to create your very own Goodman chart based on a skills test that you have completed with your class. To start off with, um, you need to fill in the skills for each question that you created for your test. So I've put in there question one and the skill that was being measured for that question. So in that white field, which is cell 2, I put in the question number. And then in the yellow cell, which is cell 1, I've actually put in the skill that was measured for that question. So here's one I prepared earlier. I've got questions 1 through to question 8 for this small little maths test that was created. Just if I want to make it look a bit better, I might right click to make that cell a little bit bigger and a bit longer. Now what you will be required to do is type in your student's name that completed that test and your class. So for this demonstration I've just randomly picked some names that I'm just filling out in those white cells in row in column A. Once you have finished typing in your student's name, you may want to delete those extra fields that I've provided for you. Just make sure that you don't actually highlight the total column there. Right click and delete and that gets rid of all those extra fields and do the same for the bottom there. So highlight them, please make sure not to um, highlight though that bottom field. Delete and delete entire row and there you go now you've just gotten rid of all those extra unwanted fields now what you need to do is give um, corresponding mark for each correct answer each student received for instance Christian got question one correct so I've given him a total score of one so that I've done that in question two he got question three correct so again I give him a score of one he didn't get anything and as you can see there he's got a total of three correct out of the eight so far and he also got question six correct which gives him a grand total of four out of eight for that skills test I'll do the same for Bob he got question one so I give him a one question two I also give him one question three he didn't get correct so he gets nothing Question 4, 5 and 6 he got correct so he gets 1. So he got a total of 5 out of 8 for that skills test. Now what I'm doing is just entering the remaining data of the students and the answers that they got correct for this particular skills test. So just bear with me as I finish this data entry. There you go, I have now imported all the data from this skills test that was created at our last session. Now what we need to do is sort out our data so we can determine the zone of proximal development so we can target our teaching. So what you need to do is select your students and this because what we need to do you sort out from the student who got the highest score to the student who got the lowest score. So click on the data tab and select sort. What you need to do is we need to sort it by column J because that's where we have the total. So select column J and what we want is the student who received the highest mark which is the largest mark 
down to the smallest. So make sure that you've changed that to largest to smallest and select OK. Now you have just done, um, sorted the data from the student who got the highest, which you can see is Elizabeth, all the way through to Tammy who scored a 2. Now we need to sort out our data from left to right. So we're sorting out from our questions from most difficult to the easiest for this particular class. So you need to select the question all the way down through the total down the bottom. We now still make sure that we're on the data tab, select sort. And this time we need to if you click there, it's we've still we can't actually select the row that we want. So go down to options and we're sorting from left to right. Now we actually get the selection of sorting out the last row there, which is row 14, which has the total there. We actually want the score from largest again to smallest. So the easiest, the question that most students got correct, the least correct. And as you can see, it has now sorted our data. Question two was the easiest question for this class. And question, can actually tell from there. And as you can see there, I'm highlighting, it's a very clear zone there. And that is where you will need to be targeting your teaching. You could easily now sort out your high, your medium and your low for this particular topic in maths. So thank you very much.